Hey you guys, what's up? This is your girl Queen Three One Eight Red, which is do House Queen C V and we're back for another one. It's gonna be very, very, very short. Um, this is more information that's coming out on Reese Royce, the young lady that has something to do well an involvement with the rapper Trouble and his demise. And now it's coming out that she wrote her boyfriend telling him to come get his stuff. And stop tricking off. So, she want to say that he broke into the house, which he didn't because he had a key. And she told him to come get the stuff whenever. Okay, so, he came to get the stuff on the exact same night that she was laid up with trouble. And my opinion, too, she trying to become famous, get her career out because she's a rapper. So, this is my theory. She wanted her boyfriend in trouble to see each other because she know he's a pop-off. And she know trouble's about that life as well. So, she didn't know that it was going to come to his demise. She wanted them to have an altercation. Physically fight. Then she put it out like that. But she didn't know what was going to happen the way it happened by him getting um, offed off, you know. So, she wanted them to see each other to fight over her or if they fight over her there's going to be a beef on you know social media is going to go back and forth with each other behind her that she's going to bring her little two sits in it and say something and say this say that in the third so like i said my theory is that she didn't want um maybe she thought that okay maybe she thought that trouble was gonna off him off because she was in a domestic violence situation with him and so by trouble offing him off, you know, she's killing two birds with one stone. He's out the picture. Then trouble ain't going to probably mess with her no more. And her name is going to get carried through the streets, you know, stuff like that. So it's just one, two things. She wanted to off off her abusive boyfriend and get her name out there in her rap career. She wanted them to fight over her, still get her name out there in the rap career. But for telling him to come get his stuff whenever he's finished tricking off. Girl. Girl. How many times have females done pack their niggas up in a damn trash bag or threw the shit out? So she was being manipulative. She was trying to start trouble. No point intended. But she was starting something. She wanted these two men to meet up to start some type of drama surrounding her so she can get that shitty ass fucking rap career off the ground, which still it ain't going no motherfucking where because bitch ain't nobody still checking up on you. We trying to um save um troubles um name and get you and your the way you you do you do, he's already in jail. So bitch you gonna follow your man. Because ain't nobody still checking for your goddamn rap career. So all this shit that you try to scheme up and plot. Your rap career still is shitty. And then for her to post those pictures. This ain't the way to get into the Illuminati, baby girl. They still ain't checking for your ass. So I just wanted to... um jump in real quick and give y'all my opinion on this right here and this clip right here came from the Lano b show shout out to Lano b that's where i got my content from um so yeah i just want to jump in real real quick and give y'all my um commentary and my opinion on this statement that's floating around the social media streets pertaining to this girl and the text message that she sent to her dude and like I said, she wanted them to fight over her, take it to the streets. They're going to be beefing back and forth. And then, you know, I don't know if he from a street gang. I don't know if Trouble from a street gang. Then you're going to get his friends involved. You're going to get the other dude's friends involved. And it's going to be, you know, a beef in the streets and then on social media. And they're going to be wondering who this girl they arguing over. And sh there she go. Or she wanted Trouble to off off her boyfriend because like I said they was in a DV situation 
So we need her boyfriend to give his side of what happened. We're not going to know it's like totally believable what he's going to say, but we still need to know what is his side. Tell us what. Tell us the night that happened when you and you came into the house. Did you break the door down? Did you use your key? And I don't believe that story about him breaking the damn door down. Why would this nigga have to break down the door when he'd been sad for three years? She wanted that she wanted him to come in there and see her laid up with trouble. But she didn't think it was gonna go down the way it went down. Cause she's trying to push that shitty ass rap career to the forefront, but it ain't it ain't working. It ain't, ain't nobody checking on you, boo-boo. Ain't nobody checking on you, boo-boo. We only interested in seeing when you post or stuff come out on what really happened that night. Because they say he got offed off in the car or if y'all was sleeping in bed and he was breaking down the door. Y'all didn't, y'all didn't hear this big-ass nigga, tall-ass nigga breaking down the damn door. I don't care if you guys was doing... Maybe allegedly some sugar booger or alcohol. You still going to wake up out your damn sleep unless you heavy intoxicated not to hear somebody. It's going to take a couple of thumps and bumps for that door. I huff and I puff and I broke down your door. So it's going to come out, you guys. It's going to come out down the line that she set this shit up and everybody keeps saying that she should that's why the bitch um in able to her goddamn comments and put, took her shit off um social media because it ain't right in that buttermilk on her trifling ass but yeah she didn't think it was gonna go down like like this she thought they was gonna fight over her they was gonna get into the beef um on social media or in the streets and then they're gonna be everybody gonna be wondering who is they arguing over and then she's gonna start saying she didn't come online and then she's trying to push out her damn rap shit <laughs> girl please stop it i don't know how long you've been rapping but baby if you ain't even floating like that you, you ain't gonna float so float off and float on so, oh my goodness, this is just crazy. This girl is something else. She is something else. But yeah, like I said, I was just jumping in. Excuse me, I was just jumping in to, to get my followers and my family on House of Queens TV. You know, this is a little something to marinate. <clears throat> so, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, content. If you guys did, go ahead and thumbs up this channel. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Also, subscribe. Why? Because I give y'all good content. Hit the notification bell button. Why? Because once I upload, you will get notifications every time I upload. That's why. Thank you. And it's very much appreciated. So when you come up in here, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell button. Hit all. And also when you up on this channel, go ahead and go go ahead and watch some more of my content. You enjoy it. I know you will. And I appreciate all you guys for supporting me on House of Queen TV. So keep it in mind, either get great later. Also watch your twelve, three season, your all, 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 all times. <laughs>